All right, we're gonna get right into it because this is this stuff is really gonna start to matter. So I hope you're paying attention. Have you guys ever heard about the vaccine passports? We've talked about it several times over the last year on our channel here. This is the off grid channel where we talk about all things away from the system and we're trying to pull you out of it uh, so you can see the better life that's waiting for you when you're unconnected. And then you can connect when you want to participate when you want to. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we talk about living off the grid, no electricity, no running water from public utilities. Uh, we talk about how we harvest rainwater, we poop in buckets, we grow 90% of our own food, and we teach all this for free on social media. Our channel is littered with over 1,500 videos in depth teaching you all the things you need to know on becoming more self-sufficient. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about why we're hoping and we're trying to let you guys know you should be getting all your stockpiles up, getting all your supplies up. Anything you depleted over the last 12 months, get it back on your shelves. Uh, during this last year, we've talked about the vaccine passports. Have you guys forgot about the vaccine passports? Because they're coming your way, they are not gonna abandon the billions of dollars that they have spent building the infrastructure for vaccine passports. Pretty soon, in a theater near you, you are going to need to show your vaccine status to get into or out of any place that you do business at. I hope you guys are paying attention, <laughs> all right? Because this stuff is not going away. Here's the President of the United States. President, can you say anything about the uptick of COVID cases and new variant? Yes, I can. Matter of fact, I signed off this morning on a request for the Secretary of State to give us the We've been warning you, right? I've been trying to tell you guys that this stuff's circling back around. They are not going to let this go. The first one was a good test. They were checking out how much you were going to accept, how much tyranny will America endure because I think they're kind of scared of you because they know we have so many guns and we still have a lot of that American spirit. I think they were kind of flabbergasted that we laid down so hard on that first round. And, you know, a lot of people were worried and scared. And, you know, you get a pass on the first one, <laughs> not on the second one. So I thought to myself, are we going to be able to elect our way out of this? Can we comply our way out of tyranny? And then I thought, what is Congress doing for us? Like, what is the representative of the people? What are they doing for us? Because they know this is coming as well. Well, I found a little something for you guys. I'm going to share it right here. It's called H.R. 3868, No Vaccine Passports for Americans Act. Now that does sound groovy, right? Like sounds like, man, they're really on it. They're, they're trying to help us out. A, if Americans don't have vaccine passports, guess where you're not going? Anywhere outside of America. <laughs> so now you're gonna be like on an island by yourself. Okay, that's how they're gonna treat you. So there's that. Now I will uh, tell you that I, I scrolled through here because I like to see how is the bill progressing? Like what's going on with it? And I'm gonna share a little bit about what I found. And then tonight, like I've been doing at about 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, it'll be after the live show actually. So I'll be a little late tonight for the folks that are just showing up late, but you will get the information. I, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna read to you what's been going on with the bill since it was introduced. And it was introduced in 2021. It's very interesting stuff, okay? So let me get back to the beginning of the, the birth of the bill, if you will. I'm just a bill. I'm just a bill. I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. Remember those? I wonder why they took Schoolhouse Rock off TV teaching you how bills actually pass through Congress and how the President of the United States has this much authority to tell you what to do. He cannot put out edicts and he cannot do mandates okay because this is america now y'all in other countries you got your own systems i don't really study them that much but for the most part as a sovereign individual person they don't have any right over you <laughs> i'm sorry uh this channel uh, might push you to be a little more edgy and protective of your self-protection your self-preservation all right, in 614, 2021, it's all right here. I'm not making up anything. This is at the government website, which I will send tonight after the live show. 
If you go to offgridwithdougandstacy.com, as soon as you land on there, there's a box right there asking you if you want to be part of the Self-Preservation Club. Put your name and email address in there, and you'll be getting those emails every night at 6 or so p.m., maybe later, but I'll get it out to you going forward. You only need to register one time, and it's absolutely free. I just want you guys to have this information and be prepared. Please make sure you are stockpiling your wares. And worst case scenario, you just don't have to go to the store for a long time. But I suggest getting yourself, uh, you know, bulk salt, bulk bentonite clay, off grid with Doug and Anything that you use around your household, get some doubles of. Just real stealthy. You don't have to go in like tearing down the store or anything. We don't want to create a panic now. In 614 2021, this, uh, after it was brought to the floor and sponsored, which it should just go to a vote, that's how our system's set up, but it was referred to the Committee on the Judiciary, and in addition to the Committees on Energy and Commerce, Transportation, Infrastructure, Education and Labor, Foreign Affairs, Oversight and Reform, and House Administrations for a period of sub subsequently determined by the Speaker. Huh, who was the Speaker? In each case for consideration of such provisions as fell within the jurisdiction of the committee concerned, action by House of Representatives. Then on 615, it was referred to the Subcommittee on Health, right? And then on 11 1 2022, a whole nother year, it's been very quiet, nothing's been done. Now it's been referred to the Committee on the Constitution, Civil Rights, and Civil Liberties, right? It's all right there, you can see for yourself. So if you think your representatives are gonna stand in the gap for you, one of our slogans around here is, you're on your own. If you guys are not checking out the community tab on our YouTube channel here, make sure you do so. I'm leaving some interesting graphs and information for you there. It's The only way you can share it though is by screenshot it. It's not available to share. That's a community tab, it's just for our tribe. But you're welcome to share anything that I post there. Uh, just take a screenshot of it, okay? The main takeaways right now are, A, the stuff's gonna circle back around, y'all. They're gonna try to lock you back down and make you wear the diapers, okay? I'm, not, I'm just telling you how it is. I don't, you know, I'm not, a, I don't have a very good etiquette on speaking with a lot of fancy words, and I'm not good at circling you all the way around to get you to what I'm talking about. I like to just go straight in and just let you know, like, get ready. Stacy's conference is in October. She has a woman's retreat set up, okay? It's at uh, homesteadinglifeconference.com. Do not go there to sign up for the email list. You will not get on the email list. But if you want to attend that, there's only a few tickets left, okay? It's a very small amount of people, and the information shared there is going to be all about your health and nutrition, which is becoming increasingly hard to find, especially on the internet, as they start to scrub holistic information from the internet to funnel you into more of the big pharma system okay we're being funneled right now like nobody's business so if you want to go to that conference go to homesteadinglifeconference.com and get your tickets there's only some tickets left no joke that conference is going to go on rain or shine lockdown or not no refunds and just like in 20 was it 20 2021 when the whole world locked down, we still had our conference and everyone pretty much showed up and we had a fantastic time. And here I am, pure blood as all can be, and I never died or nothing, okay? So that's gonna happen no matter what. Think about other plans that you have going forward. Also, if you're gonna fly there, make sure you have it in your mind that you could be harassed at the airports. This is why 9-11, the inside job happened, was to usher in the Patriot Act. Okay, I'm trying to be as straight with y'all as I can. The Patriot Act was already on the shelf and all they needed was the little certain something special. Okay, there's lots of other theories behind why they brought down the Twin Towers. That's a whole nother thing, but it was definitely imploded and they definitely did it on purpose to usher in the Patriot Act. And this stuff is all legit, y'all. And that ushered in the largest surveillance on humans in the history of mankind. And that's where we're at right now. And they know it. I'm not scared to say it. They know I'm talking the truth, and if they want to hear it, they know it. So I'm not afraid. Don't be afraid. Because the fear, that's the fear is what they're counting on. Trust me, trust me there, the fear is what they're counting on. I have more videos coming up. 
Make sure you're on our email list. I'm just trying to get you the information. The, the fur, further ahead you are, you can be proactive instead of reactive. Last time you were reactive because you didn't know what was going on and they kind of got you flat footed. This time everyone's screaming it from the mountaintops. Here it comes, here it comes. So please get ready and also hold the line, okay? This is gonna be hard, but we have to hold the line. And all the information is out there. We're, you know, we just don't want to take bioweapons. And now he says, did you hear what he said? He said he's making a new vaccine and this one will work. I mean, what is that? Now they're doing vaccines on the fly and you're the guinea pig. Can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? What that woman she been doing to me? Well, can't you see? Oh, can't you see what that woman law has been doing to me? That's why I had to turn you around this time so you could pay attention because this information is pretty important. See you on the next video. Before you get out of here, don't forget the live shows at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time tonight right here on YouTube. All right, sorry about that. <laughs>